Let's talk Uber and Lyft stops, the length that they should be, and also some of the anchors that people will leave in the car to try to get you to stay at a location because they want to take advantage of that stop and really not pay you. That's what we're talking about right now. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and this is Real Rideshare Stories. And today we're going to be talking about a post that I came across for a driver who had a stop and an anchor that that person left in the car to try to keep them there. Then let's talk about stops themselves and what you should be watching out for in the event that they try to do something like this and what you should do if they leave anchors in the car. All right, so let's get right to the story. And this is taken from a Facebook post. And as you see on the screen, it says, so I had a ride today. Lady waited till after I picked her up to add a stop at Target. That's a real problem right off the bat because we all know Target runs are probably going to be a pretty decent amount of time because, well, let's face it, it's a huge store. But it says, so I took her to the liquor store, then Target, and after about 20 minutes, I ended the ride and moved on. I know I waited too long. I just kept telling myself that she would come out as soon as I ended it. She had said all she needed was a mop. Almost 10 minutes after I left, she called and was calling me nasty names, so I hung up. She just kept redial calling, so I reported her to Uber. But I had forgotten she left her liquor store purchase in the car. So now I have tequila that I can't drink. Also, I hadn't driven in about a month. And when I went to clean out my car today, I found AirPods. So I guess they're mine now. <laughs> now, first off, if you have somebody who adds a stop to a grocery store, to a Target, a Walmart, some big store like that, chances are it's going to be much longer than the five minutes. It's supposed to be only three to five minutes per stop. That's what it's supposed to be. You're not getting paid to sit there. You're getting paid to drive. That's what Uber and Lyft are for. They're not there for stops. If you have a stop that's going to be longer, you might want to work it out with your driver, with your passenger, and say, hey, if you need me to wait, or hey, I need you to wait, you know, you throw some sort of an agreement together with money, and usually that will work out. At that point, that's when somebody will sit. But if you just assume that they're going to sit and wait, no. And drivers, you should tell, hey, I can only wait three to five minutes. If it comes to five minutes, I'll give you a call and let you know. See where you're at. If you need another minute or two, I could probably wait. But after that, I got to get going because I'm not here to sit around. Stops are only three to five minutes. Be cordial. Be charismatic about it. And you'll probably be well off received more so. Most riders might not realize that, but some are going to exploit that like this potential person did. 30 minutes. Not only that, they left an anchor in the car of a tequila bottle. So anybody who leaves stuff in the car in stops, especially towards these big stores, you want to make sure that they take everything out of the car in the event that they're longer than the amount of time that you have to sit there and wait three to five minutes or so, unless you work something out. But in any event, when it comes to these anchors, just make sure that the passenger has every single thing before they leave and let them know that if they don't and they keep it in there and you have to cancel the ride, where they can pick it up or let them know that they're going to have to grab it somewhere else, whatever it might be, however you want to handle that situation. But don't feel obligated to stay there in the event that they leave stuff, especially after you told them that they have to take all their belongings and that you are only supposed to wait three to five minutes unless, again, you work something out with that person. And then the last thing about that, when it comes to things left inside the car, well, this person hadn't received a report from Uber Lyft regarding a lost item. So in the event you don't know where it is or anything like that, or you don't even know how to contact or whoever to contact, whoever it might've been, however long it's been sitting in there, well, at that point, they're yours. So, hey, good job at getting some AirPods. That's pretty cool. All right, and now I want to hear what your thoughts are. When it comes to stops, three to five minutes, good. Do you work something out with your driver or your rider in the event that it's going to be longer? And what do you do with anchors? And what's the craziest anchor you have seen in your own car? Comment below, let me know. 
All right, with that being said, that's the end of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. We'll see you next time.